Yo, what up, what up, what up? There's your boy King Series straight from PC Home Beats. And in today's video, I'm just going to show you guys how I mix these vocals with um, Farfetta uh, plugins over here. Yes, and I'm going to show you the tricks and what I did for it to sound okay. There's a rap song by an artist here, so I'm just going to show you the procedure. So if you are new to the channel, if not subscribed yet, please subscribe to support your boy. Yes, please subscribe, like, and also comment to this video. And if you are old here, you've been watching my videos and um, you are not doing your boy um, support by subscribing, please do your best and subscribe. You get it? Okay, enough of the talking and I trust me, your time will never be wasted over here. You can ask those who have been watching, only if you can contact them. Yes. Um, so let's listen to some part of the vocals here. You can see I've looped this. The beat was created by me. I recorded everything here and then. Um, so you let's listen then. I'll just break everything down for you guys. Whatever you do understand, you just ask, comment down there and I'll get back to you. Trust me. So this is the beat. I did play the beat myself. So you can see that when I was doing gain staging, I looped this part of the beat. So, you know, mixing the song about just... EQing or compressing or just it's about cleaning things and making things sound good you get it so if your sound does not need any EQ or compression you need not to do it you get it yes so far as it sound good and it's okay for you so let's listen to it then I'll get back to you I do this for the crowd huh I do this from my day one nigga for the screen praise they believe in me still I think about the old days old time when the same squad to push me up been through a lot of all this must stand the innovation of grateful life is a one long struggle in the dark but more we don't walk out to be a soft man i quiet for too long to street the ball more they want me to come back to bring the vibes on the mocking of pressure to turn the mic on i tell my boy extra to make the sound yes yes so that's that's the song vocals and everything so you can see that i have some muted um vocal takes over here yes because this one were, were, were not sounding okay for me and I didn't like the way it was. So we have to retake um, everything. We have to re-record everything. You get it so that we get the right recording. Because I've always tell you that whenever you're mixing your song, um, your recording matters. Yes, your foundation. It matters a lot. Other than that, you still EQ, compress and put, you wouldn't get it um, the way you really want it. Because I know you have been watching a whole lot of tutorials on YouTube here and then. Trust me, you always see that people do just small things, the EQ small, they, then they sound okay. Aside their equipment being good and everything, they are recording so they take time to record it right. You get it? Yes, if your equip equipment too is good, it helps you in your production and everything. So you have to see if, if you don't have, save money and buy them if you don't have all those equipment. Try yourself, try your best. Okay, now enough of the talking. So what I did is, um, you can see, I did rewire these vocals straight to group one yes i created a group for this if you're using cubase you know what i'm talking about i don't know too much about pro tools ableton and the rest but for cubase you create a group then you just send it so that you can control all the vocal things that you do here you just send them then with only um your preset you can control everything over there rather than putting them on this to take too much of your uh, um cpu okay so after creating the group let me just solo the vocals and let's listen to it one for once and for all then i'll mute the plugins and explain everything to you guys i do this for the crowd huh i do this for my day one niggas with a scream praise they believe in me still let's take it by the old days old time when the same squad to push me up damn been through a lot of all this must stand the innovation i'm grateful life is a one long struggle in the dark but I'm more way to work hard to be a self-made I quiet for too long to street the ball more. They want me to come back to bring the vibes on. I'm working on pressure to turn the mic on. I team up with extra to make the sound. Okay, correct one. So these are the effects that I have on it. So if I'm supposed to mute everything, you know. Um I just said only uh, I just said fab filter plugins, but I did added a wave plugin over here, which is a compressor. When I get there, I'll tell you why I did added it. So First of all, I did EQ. So listening to the raw vocals, let me mute everything on it. And this is how the raw vocals also sound. That's for the crowd, huh? I do this from my day one. Niggas with a scream praise, they believe in me. With the beat. It's still, I think about the old days, old time when the same squad pushed me up there. Been through a lot of all. This must start the duration of great. Life is a one long struggle in the dark, but more with the walk out to be a soft man. I quiet for too long to street the 
football more. They... Yes, it sound okay. Yes, with the beat you can hear the vocals and you can also hear the beat. So you just need need to do a little bit of gain staging here, as I said earlier on. Yes, so that your beat and everything will match. Rather than recording very low, then you will be pushing up your gains up and everything, or putting effect just to bring up the volumes and everything. That one, yeah, sometimes it works, but tell you you're supposed to make sure you get it naturally before you start to do all those things okay so what i did here is the first of all i did eq as well i cut some of the low ends because this is a hip hop and I ha i'm having a whole lot of 808 beats and the kick and so i just wanted to ha make sure that my vocals are sitting at the mix and also the highs taking place the mix and the high so i did subtractive eq here if you have been watching my tutorial i don't actually like to boost certain things in the eq you get it i said boost certain frequencies i love to um take away those bad frequencies and keep the ones which are good at its level yes people love to boost anything but sometimes i don't actually love to do that i like to take the bad ones out and keep the good ones there yes so this is how i did eq it so if you listen to it with the eq this is how it goes the crowd huh? i do this from my day one niggas with the screen prints they believe in me still without the eq I stick it by the old days, old time when the same squad to push me up there. Been through a lot of all. This is my standing ovation. I'm grateful. Life is a one long struggle in the dark, but the more with the war. You can see a very little changes to it, and you are good to go. Then the next thing is compressor. You know, I've been telling you the compressor is just to um, check your dynamic range. Um, the low part, the part which were actually down, and the part which were actually um, high. You just use the compressor to do that work you get it so vocals you can see here is actually down and here is actually more than you can actually see so the compressor will help you to bring this um dynamic range the low dynamic range and the high dynamic range so that they match up not at a very exact volume but with the way that you can actually hear that everything is being played at equal volumes okay so that's what the compressor is actually doing here so i didn't do too much um, I didn't select any preset. I just go straight to my threshold. I chose the al al already um, ratio via which is four. Then I made changes to the attack and also the release. Fast attack and also fast release because it's a wrap. So when it attack it and at a certain point, then it releases it very fast. It will attack it at 8.16 milliseconds. Then when it gets to 77.5 milliseconds, then it releases it. So fast attack and also fast release for me here. With a ratio of negative 24.97 so if you listen to it with a compressor you shouldn't be listening to it as it as it uh, as in uh, the volume level of any anything but how it's actually controlling the dynamic range you get it so if you do it too much you might just pour your dynamic ranges all this dynamism make your song sound okay so without a compressor this is how it sound and i'll also um open it for you guys to see without a compressor I do this for the crowd, huh? I do this for my day one niggas with the screen prints. They believe that a compress uh, with a compressor. Believe in me still. I stick it by the old days, old time when the same squad to push me up there. Been through a lot of all. This is my standing innovation. I'm grateful. Life is a one long struggle in the dark, but the more we to work hard to be a self made. You can see that it brings up the energy because it has actually bring the low dynamic range and the high dynamic range to a certain level, which they are actually matching. So with that one, um, it gives the song energy. You get it together with the beat. That's what we are having now. Quiet for too long, the street the ball more. They want me to come back to bring the vibes on. The mocking of pressure to turn the mic on. I team up with extra to make the sound. You get it, yes. So it is actually bringing the low and the high dynamic range to match up and also give it some kind of energy in it. That's the work of the compressor here. And the DS are this um from um far filter to yes. So this is the DS and so I just brought the threshold around negative um 39.55 dB. That's the only thing I did there. I didn't do anything serious because there's no too much siblances in this. The siblances. Yes. I didn't do too much because um it's not we are not having too much of siblances, but negative thirty-nine is okay. I do this for the crowd, huh? I do this from my day one. This is what I'm actually taking away. So if you can hear it. You get it. Push me up there, been through a lot of all. This is my stand innovation. I'm grateful. Life is a one long struggle. Nice one. Very clean and cool. So the next thing is gate. You know, if you have been following me for long, 
you know that I always put C1 gate on it, C1 gate on each and every vocal here. But this time around, I just move straight to my group channel, then I put this um gate the Farfetta Pro gate on it uh, in my group channel. Yeah, so it is actually taking control over everything. Most of the time, I want it to take uh, control over the vocals each and every track. You get the I put it on each and every track, and it by this time around. Only one plugin is taking control over everything because there's a rap song and he didn't do too much of recording, maybe backgrounds and all those kind of backings and all those ad libs and things. So I just prefer doing it this way. Yes, it's an option, whichever way you want to do your own, then you go ahead and do it. So this is the threshold, yes, and my ratio. The only thing I did, I think I touched it was, um, yeah, the threshold. The only thing that I did touch is the threshold. I didn't even touch the attack and the release. Or yes, I didn't I didn't tackle it. The only thing I did was the threshold just to. So originally it was around 18. So with a gate on it, this is how it sounds. I do this for the crowd, huh? I do this for my day one niggas. So you can see that it's taking away some of the vocal. So I brought it down to where I think it sound okay for me. And this was negative 40. I do this for the crowd, huh? I do this from my day one, niggas with a scream praise, they believe in me still. Let's take it by the old days, old time when the same squad to push me up there, been through a lot of all. This Farfetta Pro Gate also has some sweetness to the vocals, if you can actually um, uh, hear it, it, it has some sweetness to the vocals, trust me. Without, the, without it, it sounds okay, but it also has some high ends and some, I mean, yes, yeah, some sweetness to the vocals, listen, listen to it clearly. This is my stand innovation, I'm grateful. Life is a one long struggle in the dark, but the more we do work hard to be a self made. I quiet for too long, the street, the ball more. The yes. So, the next thing is um, my last compressor, which is from Weaves. I said we are using Fab Filter, but um, I did use this one in it, which is supposed to pardon me for that. Okay. So, there's the settings for you. I didn't do too much of compression on this one, too. I brought the gain up around 4 and I brought the threshold 15 and my ratio 2 points. So with this compressor on it, now this is what we're having. Without it, I do this for the you shouldn't focus too much on the gain level, but focus on how tight it makes the vocals be. You get it? Yes. For the crowd, huh? I do this from day one, niggas with a scream praise, they believe in me still. I stick it by the old days, old time when the same squad pushed me up there, been through a lot of all. This is my stand innovation, I'm grateful. Like I made a beat. Life is the one long struggle in the dark, but more we do work hard to be a self made. I quiet for too long to speed the ball more. They want me to come back to bring the vibes on. I'm mocking the pressure to turn the mic on. I team up with extra to make the sound. Nice one. Okay, so the next thing is um, my FX and I created the FX and people will see bars in Pro 2 send the rest. But here we call it FX send. So add FX channel. I did then you select the plugin that you really want, you put it as stereo because you are sending it, then you just click on OK, then you create it. So created the FX and which is the reverb and the delay. Not all the times you that you're supposed to put delay on it or but it's an option. Sometimes I don't put delay on certain track that I record for people on. It depends on how I want it. But most of the time I think all the tutorials that I've been showing I've been using delay, yes. But not all all the time. So it's an option. You get it. Just listen to what you want and what how you want it to sound. So this is the reverb that I'm using. Far filter. Hey, Valhalla vintage verb. Yeah, sorry. And this is my settings. The decay around this and uh, my EQ around this. So I caught some of the low ends and also brought the decay around this. So I mean, I selected the mode level, which is split. Um, then I sent it to this. So if you listen to this without the reverb, it goes like this. I do this for the crowd, huh? I do this for my day one niggas with a scream praise. They and with a reverb. Is they believe in me still? I stick it by the old days, old time when the same squad to push me up there. So you can see that the vocals happen before the reverb comes uh, to it back. You get it? The, vo uh, the reverb is not washing away the vocal, the strength of the vocals. So you just have to know how to set it. So sending it, I sent around negative 15 to it so that um, it doesn't wash away all the vocals. Yes, I have to hear what the person is saying, then the reverb creates spaces around it for the beat and everything to, I mean, match up. You get what I'm talking about? Okay. 
Then the next thing is the delay. That is same um uh what do we call it? FXN, yes. The same FXN. But this time around I do one over sixteenth. Yes, one over sixteenth note for this work. I need feedback to then there's the reverb uh delay that I'm using, Echo Boy from Sound Toys, which is okay. Yeah, so with the echo boy on it, this is what we have. I do this for the crowd, huh? I do this from my day one. Niggas with a screen prints, they believe in me still. Very short uh, delay. Yes. The 16th note. If I'm taking the first, you see that when I write the vocal stop, then that one to be playing. But I didn't want that one. I wanted to hear the vocals. I, mean, I didn't want do, those kind of ping pong delay. And that's, yes. So these are the settings. It's an option. You just do try and error and. The one which works for you then you go by it you get it yes so this is how i did mix everything so let's listen to it once and for all if you like whatever i'm teaching and showing you over here make sure you subscribe to support your boy or if you want me to help you with anything the number is in the description just pick it up and contact me and trust me um you you hear from me okay so let's listen to it once and for all then we are done then we will, we will meet again thank you for watching also subscribe it's your boy can see you straight from busy home beat yes and i'm out I do this for the crowd, huh? I do this for my day one niggas with the screen prints, they believe in me still. I stick it by the old days, old time when the same squad to push me up there. Been through a lot of all, this must have been innovation, I'm grateful. Life is a one long struggle in the dark, but the more we do walk hard to be a soft man. I quiet for too long to treat the ball more. They want me to come back to bring the vibes on, I'm working on pressure to turn the mic on. I team up with extra to make